This presentation will focus on post-harvest rail meaningless development detected using X-ray computer tomography and influenced by canopy position and harvest maturity. Pharrell is the second most planted and exported pear cultivar from South Africa. This cultivar is mainly favoured for its exceptional blush and crunchy texture combined with a sweet flavour when hard and ripe. Pharrell pears are prone to develop mealiness which results in a soft, dry texture which is not desired by the majority of pear consumers. Mealiness may be influenced by pre-harvest factors. Therefore, the aim of this study was to evaluate the influence of canopy position on the microstructural parameters of rail pears and its link to mealiness. In this study, 20 rail pear trees were selected at Glen Freedom Farm in Elgin, the Western Cape. Three from three different canopy positions were tagged, the outer canopy red blush pears, slightly blush pears from the middle canopy, and fruit with no blush from the shaded inner part of the canopy. Tagged fruit were harvested at optimum harvest maturity and stored for 8 weeks at minus 0 0.5 degrees Celsius and ripened for 7 days at 20 degrees Celsius, after which maturity indexing and computer tomography took place. Nowadays, X-ray CT is increasingly used to investigate fruit microstructure to develop intrinsic relationships between structure and properties. The main advantage and value of X-ray CT is, is its ability to perform non-destructive capturing of high-resolution data. X-ray micro CT was used to scan the whole fruit to investigate density differences between fruit from different canopy positions. Due to X-ray micro CT being non-destructive, the same sample could also be subjected to X-ray nano CT scanning, where a subsection of the neck region was scanned at a much higher resolution to determine cellular level information such as porosity and conductivity. These figures illustrate the grey level images of the neck region of an outside, middle and inside canopy pair respectively. The dark regions represent the cupola or the cavities, while the grey regions indicate tissue or cells. Evidence of large intercellular air spaces between the cells is visible in the outside canopy fruit, while the inside canopy fruit had a compact tissue structure. Big cavities are related to mealy fruit and show evidence of cell separation and disintegration. When we look at the three-dimensional volume renderings of the pore networks, it is clear that outside canopy fruit have a highly branched and interconnected pore structure contributing to a mealy mouthfeel. Fruit consists of pore networks that are anisotropic, heterogeneous and complex. These intercellular spaces form channels for gas transport that are necessary for respiratory metabolism. Porosity plays a very important role in fruit since it affects texture and thus mealiness. A high porosity gives rise to a spongy or mealy texture. Outside canopy fruit had a significantly higher porosity, number of pores, larger pore sizes and higher pore connectivity in comparison to inside canopy fruit. These results are in agreement with previous work that reported mealy fruit to be associated with a higher porosity, larger pores and a higher pore connectivity compared to non-mealy fruit. The mealiness score results correlated well with the X-ray CT data. The average mealiness score was significantly higher for outside canopy fruit and this can be associated with a significantly higher percentage exposure to sunlight and the highest average fruit surface temperature. The harvest maturity figure demonstrates the mealiness score of fruit from different canopy positions of harvest 1 and harvest 2 fruit. Here it is clear that fruit harvested two weeks after optimum maturity, especially outer canopy fruit, was significantly mealier than fruit harvested at optimum maturity. From our results, it is clear that fruit from different canopy positions have microstructural differences and these differences can be linked to the incidence of mealiness. Larger outside canopy fruit resulted in larger pores and cavities due to cell sliding and breaking. Late harvest maturity also increases fruit size and mealiness. Mealiness is induced pre-harvest and currently managed post-harvest. The key to understanding mealiness development lies in the underlying micromechanism. I would like to acknowledge the following people and organizations for their contributions. Thank you.